Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now, this one's going to be on the iOS Ravencoin wallet. It has been released for a few days now, and it's about that time for a tutorial. So if you have an iOS device, such as an iPad or an iPhone, you can go out to the App Store and pull this by typing in Ravencoin, click the Get, and go ahead and download it. Now, once that's downloaded and you open it up, you're going to be met with a screen to either import or create a new wallet. Now we're going to be going through the create wallet process here. After you hit that, you'll be met with a wizard that will walk you through essentially how to restore your wallet. This is one of the most important things you can do if you have cryptocurrency and you're going to maintain your private keys yourself using something like a mobile wallet where you want to be able to restore this if you lose your phone, if you're upgrading your phone, or you want to hold this on a couple different devices. These 12 words will give you access back to this wallet on the blockchain. Now you wanna keep these very secret. You do not want to be showing people this. And in this demo, we are showing you this just for your spatial awareness of how it works, how it functions. And these words are going to be able to be used to restore this wallet, which has 505 Ravencoin in it, to the lucky first person that gets to blaze through this, hit pause and import this wallet. Now the 500 Ravencoins will allow you to interact with the asset system when it comes online later this month in October of 2018, as it will take 500 Ravencoin to be able to create an asset on the Ravencoin network. Now once you have your words written down when you're going through this wallet, you want to securely store those somewhere where somebody else, no prying eyes, will see them, and then keep them safe for if you ever need to restore this wallet on another device. So now that we're in the Ravencoin app, you can see it will start syncing and it'll give you a prompt, a little security window there to ask you to go to the security center and set up the other few options. And let's go ahead and go straight to the security center. When you click that below, there's essentially three areas there. You need to make sure you have a six digit pin, which you should have set up right in the very beginning. And then a touch ID, if you want to enable that, which allows you to send money via the touch and you could set a limit to that. And then of course the paper key, which is the access to get your wallet restored. You wanna have those, those three items all set up and completed. And then if we look under the settings, you'll see the ability to unlink this device from the wallet, update a pin code if you wanna do that. If somebody you think may have found your pin code and you wanna change that, you can do it there. And then some other basic settings such as the currency setting, the ability to share anonymous data from the activity of this, we have that turned off and then some of the other advanced features such as the Ravencoin node that you're connected to. Now the main component of this is the wallet and when you click on that you'll be able to get into the send and receive. It's pretty straightforward. Essentially cryptocurrency on your particular wallet you can send or you can click on that receive. You can set a request amount or you can actually send somebody to make it easy for them an amount that you'd like to request say you're wanting to get 1000 Ravencoin and then you could hit that share button and then send it through a text or an email that's attached to your iOS device. Additionally, you can send and use this QR code scanning device that's on there, like most wallets. It makes it pretty seamless. You also have that search engine at the top that's built into it. When you click that, you'll have that sent, receive, pending, and complete to allow you to sort through a list pretty quick. I do like that feature that's not on a lot of current wallets out there, including for Bitcoin wallets. Real seamless design, real straightforward and simple and we're looking forward to the additional enhancement that this wallet will more than likely bring when it comes into the asset management piece and potential future releases. Now hopefully this is real quick, clear, and concise for you. Wanted to make it a quick one for you guys. Drop a comment below. I plan on doing an Android version of this also. If you folks would like that, you can post down there that the Android walkthrough is in order. And in future videos this week, we'll be touching on some hardware wallets and some of the f features and functionality of those. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter to see when new stuff's coming out, and of course, follow us on Twitch and YouTube if you can. Get that notification bell, and we'll be bringing some good content to you guys.